This is the third section of chapter 9 on trigonometric ratios and this section is on areas of triangles. So here's a labelled up triangle and I can use the four following formula to work out an area of a triangle and that is half times side A times side B times by the sine of angle C. So let's have a look in the triangle and see where that actually is let's highlight it so we've got side a which is this side here we've got side b which is this side here and then we've got angle a uh, c which is this angle here so we can use this when we've got two sides and the angle between them that's similar to the cosine rule when we were trying to find a side so rather than the cosine rule where we had this pattern we found this side we have this pattern and we'll find an angle. So we want two sides and the angle between them. Two sides and the angle between them. OK, example eight, work out the area of the triangle shown below. So I can see I've got two sides and the angle between them. So I can put these straight into the rule, sine rule for giving me the area of a triangle. So the area is going to be half times by A, so that can be the 4.2 or the 6.9, times by B, again that can be the 6.9 or 4.2, times by the sine of the angle between them, which is 75 degrees. So on my calculator, I get 13.9962 dot dot dot. I'll give my answer to three significant figures. So it's going to be 14.0 centimetres squared. I'll just put our rounding there. Example nine in triangle ABC, AB is five centimetres, BC six centimetres and angle ABC is equal to X. Given that the area of ABC is 12 centimetres and that AC is the longest side, find the value of X. So let's start with a sketch as we normally do. It seems like all my sketches look the same. A, B and C. AB is five centimetres. So let's put five centimetres there. BC is six centimetres. And angle ABC so ABC is X. So this angle here is X. Now we know that the area of the triangle is 12 centimeters squared, and we want to find the value of X. So we have two sides. We want to find the angle between them and we know the area. So this is gonna be area equals half AB sine C. Now the area we know is 12 centimeters so we can write 12 is equal to half times a now that can be the five or the six b which can be the six or the five times by sine of the angle between them which is x working out the half times five times six that's half of 30 which is 15 so you've got 15 sine x we'll divide both sides by 15 so we'll get sine x equals 12 over 15 and then x is going to equal the sine inverse of 12 over 15 so I'll work that out and we'll see that that gives us 53.1301 dot 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 like this now we need to be careful because we need to look back and look at the question it says ac is the longest side this is the longest side in the triangle longest side now if that's the longest side that means that x here must be the largest angle in that triangle now if this is the largest angle in a triangle it can't be 53.1 because one of the other angles is going to be obtuse it's going to be bigger than that so this is where we've got this ambiguous case and we need to find the other angle by doing or saying that or x is equal to 180 minus 
this 53.1301. Now, if we do that, then the value for x we're going to get, if we do 180 minus answer, and that gives us the correct answer, 126.8698 dot dot dot. I'm going to round it and say that the size of angle ABC is equal to 127 degrees and I've rounded that to three significant figures. So just be careful. This bit of information is just not there for fun. Well, it is fun, but it has some impact on our answer because I'm sure there are going to be students that are just going to write this down and not realize that there's actually a bit more they need to do. So watch out for things like that in questions. So you should now be able to do exercise 9D on pages 186 to 187 of the textbook.